Hi everyone, today we're making gulpi. It's an Afghan cauliflower curry dish that goes really well with rice or pita bread and it's a vegetarian dish. I grew up eating cauliflower in Afghanistan. I've taken my mom's delicious, authentic recipe and adapted it for a modern kitchen with an instant pot. So the ingredients are a quarter cup of olive oil, two heaping cups of diced onions. In here, all three spices are mixed, but I have one tablespoon of coriander, one teaspoon of turmeric, and one teaspoon of curry powder, um, a quarter cup of tomato sauce, and I prefer using a tomato sauce that does not have other spices added to it. And um, we have six uh, minced garlic and one teaspoon of diced ginger. And of course, the head of cauliflower. I like the piece of cauliflower to be whole. You basically just cut the bottom and then remove this so it makes it easier to separate the pieces. I cut it in half, and then I just separate it by hand, one at a time. Some of them are gonna be a little bigger than others, and those we'll cut, but in general, I think it's easiest just to separate it by hand rather than using too much knife. And if the piece is too big, just cut it this way. But of course, after you do the cutting, you will rinse and pat dry. So for this dish, I'm going to be using my Instant Pot, which I absolutely love. It's an electric pressure cooker, so it basically cooks everything quickly. And once uh, the item is cooked, it basically turns itself off. So you can run errands and have the Instant Pot be cooking for you. So I'm starting by adding the oil. Want to make sure I press saute and the oil is going to get hot pretty quickly. The saute feature is very effective. And I'm adding the onions. Stirring the onions so it gets evenly cooked and it gets oil on it. Onions have been cooking for a few minutes and basically it depends on your instant pot and how quickly it heats and cooks. Uh, now I'm adding the spices, and this is called the blooming process. I like to add the spices early. If I don't have onions, I just add them straight to the pot um, and to the oil, but here I'm adding it to the onions. And what it does is it opens up all the flavors of the spices. Oh my gosh, my kitchen smells like turmeric, coriander, and curry powder. It's just amazing. Uh, now it's time to add the rest of the ingredients. This is the tomato sauce, six diced garlic, ginger, the cauliflower, which I did wash, and let the water drain. One teaspoon of salt. I am a salt addict, uh, so I love salt. Uh, you can adjust how much salt you put based on your tolerance for sodium and one teaspoon of black pepper. This turns out to be a very flavorful dish. I'm turning it off saute so it doesn't keep cooking. And what I am doing here is just stirring so all the cauliflower is coated with the onions and um, all the spices. The cauliflower is now coated with the onions and all the spices and it's ready to be uh, pressure cooked. So I put the lid on and um, sealed the top so it pressure cooks. Uh, with the um, cauliflower, you don't need to cook it for very long at all. Um, so I'm going to be using the pressure cook feature and um, for five minutes, and that's pretty much it. You bring it down to five minutes and let it cook 
um, and do its own thing. Afghanistan is a Central Asian country, not Middle Eastern. It has a population of 35 million people and 40% of that population is under the age of 14. Afghan youth love social media, they love their phones, they love TV, films, just like the kids in the United States. People of Afghanistan are called Afghans, not Afghani. Afghani is the currency of the country. Majority of Afghans are against the occupation of the country by the Taliban or even their existence. If you have any questions about Afghanistan, please put your questions in the comments section and I would love to answer them for you. Okay, our gulpi is ready. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to serve it in a plate. It's got a lot of nice broth. So our vegetarian gulpi the dish is done. You can serve it with rice and warm pita bread. If you like this video, please um, press like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thanks for staying with me and watching my gulpi recipe.